guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a new weekly vlog it's actually tuesday today yesterday i had a very busy day one minute i had a very busy day yesterday so i didn't really vlog um but i am up it is half past eight i need to start getting ready because me and alex are shooting this morning um we're shooting at 10 o'clock i'm gonna pick her up and then we're gonna go for a yo sushi have a catch up because Alex went, so I went on holiday, then I came back, Alex had the C word, so we didn't see each other, then we seen each other once in the vlog, um, when we shot, and then she went on a holiday, and then she had to isolate, so we've been missing each other, so we're gonna go to your sushi, which we haven't been to in ages, and, um, have a nice little date, so I'm getting ready, my hair is really greasy, but, as always, I really can't be bothered to wash it, so I'm just using my Batiste, Batiste, yeah, Batiste, dry shampoo. This is the Hydrate. Sorry, Colby's on the window and he's gruffing at me. Would you like to come down, sir? It's too hot up there, isn't it? It's too hot. Um, No, you can't have that. Lie down. Good boy. So this is the Batiste dry shampoo Hydrate. Um, I really like all the Batiste dry shampoos, to be honest. Um, but This one's just nice when I don't want my hair to look really drying. Um, so what I do is, before I do my makeup, I put this in my roof because i can't remember where i learned this let me spray it then i'll talk because it's quite loud okay so now i literally look like hagrid um and excuse the white bits in my hair so i used to use dry shampoo and i'd spray it through my hair and then brush it out straight away whereas someone taught me i really wish i could remember who whoever it was out there who taught me this thank you she changed my life that you should put it in and then leave it because then it works and absorbs any like oils and stuff which totally makes sense um, so sometimes if I can remember to do it the night before, if I know my hair's probably going to be like a little bit greasy in the morning, I'll make sure to dry shampoo the night before, leave it like this so you know when you can like see the white, put it in a scrunchie in a bun, um, and then when I wake up the next day I brush it through and your hair feels brand new, like it's so much better. Um, but for days like today when I forgot, I'm going to put it in and then literally just clip my hair. up in like a crocodile clip and that'll do until I do my makeup and then I'll brush it out like when I'm ready to go I just feel like it gives it time to work in whereas if I brush it out straight away I get little bits like little white you know like the dry shampoo when it's not dried properly um so yeah that's a little trick for you so I've done my skincare already um and I thought I'd just do my makeup with you really quickly I've been like trying new makeup using loads of different makeup but I think what I'm going to show you today is probably my favourite little combo that I've been doing. And I basically use a whole face of the Refi products. These have changed my makeup game up. Like, I am absolutely obsessed with this. So this is the shade Tan. Um, and it's like a cream bronzer. By the way, I'm going to have to be quick because I am in a rush. But I wanted to show you how I do this. Um, so I literally get the cream bronzer and put it as I would do any normal bronzer. Because it's cream, it goes on really natural. This is the Refi brush as well, which is also so good. It just like blends and it goes on seamlessly. Like Jess really has absolutely smashed it with this collection. Um, so that's the first thing I do. As you can see, just the tiniest bit goes such a long way. Like I literally just dabbed it in ever so slightly there. So there is a lighter shade as well of this, which I've got. Um, but when I'm tanned, which I am right now, Although my holiday tan is starting to fade, I do think that this one, which is tan, works best for me. I just like it because it doesn't look like you're wearing like a full contour look. It's just very sun-kissed and natural in my opinion. Okay, bronzer done. Time for blush. For blush, I also use the Refi blush this is in shade rose it's a really nice pink color this is what i've been gravitating towards for i'm going to use this one for the mirror um just like every day more like when i don't want well i always like a strong blush i'll be honest and i probably will add more over the top um but i just think it's really nice and girly and cute like can you see it's just a really nice pinky color and i put that on the high points of my cheeks um, I used to put blush there, like right in the centre, but now I'll put it more like here. Um, and I feel like it really does just lift your face 
gives you like a little mini facelift which we all are here for if I'm honest everyone and like I said a little bit of product goes such a long way I'm literally dabbing that in so lightly and I also just take it on my nose a bit on my forehead a bit on my chin because I just like it to look like I'm naturally a bit rosy you know that's the vibe we're going for here um I then go in with the refi what is this actually called i need the official name i don't know but it's the highlighter this if you're gonna get anything please get this it is incredible i've shown this previously on my channel um it is just probably the best highlight i've ever used because i really don't like like the cakey highlight look and for me like when it's powder i just don't like it whereas this is liquid but it's not sticky it's not it's just literally like a dewy shine it is stunning um so it comes in this little tube let me try and show you what it looks like when it comes out can you see that it is stunning so i get a little bit on my finger just that much a little bit again goes a long way also guys i need to go get my nails done asap last night i bit them all off and that is just not like me and i'm actually angry at myself for it and they look horrendous so i'm gonna have to now go back to acrylics whereas i'd grew my natural nails really long and they were like in really good condition and i was loving the gel life and now i'm gonna have to go back to acrylics you stupid girl dion um so yeah i'm gonna have to look in this mirror but you'll be able to see the shine it is just unreal i use my finger going kind of like over where i did my blush but a little bit higher sorry can you actually see that it is so nice like so so nice i just love how natural these products are they give such a nice finish and i'm aware that this is sounding like i'm doing an ad or something but i'm really not i just love these products and you guys who watch my vlogs a lot know that i'm not really big on makeup i like easy everyday really simple makeup if i do wear it um and i've had a lot of questions about like my summer makeup and this has been like my most go-to routine so I wanted to show you quickly this morning. Any excess that I've got on my finger, I'll just kind of dab like above my eyebrows um, and a little bit on my chin because I saw Jess Hunt do that. So she does it, I'm doing it. Um, and then I'll put a little bit more on my finger and just, again, put them together, go down the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose and also my cupid's bow. Just so your whole face basically resembles a glazed donut because if that's not goals i don't know what is and that is my face done like i just like how that looks i feel like it looks natural it looks sun-kissed and i like it um so then moving on to brows again i'm using refi have i gone really dark should i bring you more here oh that's much better isn't it sorry about that guys that's better isn't it apologies about that you can really see the skin there um so yeah refi brow this is the brow sculpt i want to say um so i literally just run that through my brows and it's took me a while to learn um how to use this like for the best on my brows so what i like to do is run it through and like push all the hairs up into the direction that i want them to go and then i just leave it to set for a little bit just like a few minutes while I do my freckles just because I feel like if I brush through them straight away I feel like it just doesn't hold them as well if I leave it to get a little bit tacky as such when I brush them through they stay more like compact so while that's drying I'll just use my freckle face freckle pen thing which is looking nice and clean do you know what I'm just not you am I a girl can try um i've used this for about a year now really really like it it's the best thing that i've found for doing freckles it's like a little kind of looks like an eyeliner and what i do is right again it's took me a while to learn how to get the best natural look i use my ring finger and just put like three little clusters together so one two three one two three one two three so it's like that on my finger then I just dab that on the side of my nose and I feel like that gives the most natural like fake freckle look and I've got quite a lot of freckles on my nose because I've got a tan 
um, and they come out in the sun but when I obviously put like powder over the top and stuff they do go so I just like doing this and I'll just keep going in until I've got like enough that I like see what I mean I don't know if you can see them on camera but it just makes it a lot more natural whereas I used to put them on direct from the pen wasn't as natural I didn't feel I actually got Alex onto this as well because I had two of these pens so I gave her one and this is now what she uses for her fake freckles as well um so I definitely recommend that I'll link it down below I have repurchased a few times so that's when you know something's good Right, so now that I've done that, I'm going to go back in with this. So this is two-sided, so it's got the side that I just used. Um, and then also if you just pull it, it's like a little spoolie thing. Not a spoolie, what is that? Just a little brush. Um, and then I just brush them in just to set them in place. And like, they literally don't budge when I do that. It's definitely the best way that I've found to use this product. So then once all the brows are brushed up hope you can see that well enough I used to just leave them like that but what I've been doing recently is just kind of like bringing the pen along the top not the pen the brush and just kind of rounding it off so like keep brushing them up and then just round it off Do you see what I mean um I've just been liking how that looks because I think when Rachel from Hidden Beauty does my brows they always look more like neat and rounded along the edges so that's what I've been doing and that is that what time are we on okay we've got plenty of time we've got an hour all I need to do is my hair and pack my bags all now what do I do right then I get my refi brow pencil um I use the shade dark in this um because my hairs are quite dark and what I like to do is just really lightly go over my natural shape um, fill out like the ends where I want them to be a bit thicker um, fill out the fronts where I want it to look like there's just like more hair but nowhere near as much as I used to I used to like fully colour in my brows to be honest um, but I do think since growing them out in lockdown using the rapid brow products using my castor oil my brows are in pretty good nick if I'm honest guys so I will link the rapid brow down below because I do think that that's changed the game and I also think so I think it's a combination between using rapid brow every single night on my brows and also getting regular brow lammies um, because obviously Rachel who does my brows she's trained my brows to like grow a certain way and she's just changed my brow game to be honest my brows before her were just pretty non-existent. I had really sparse eyebrows, which is so strange for a gal like me who I'll be real. Oh my god, who I'll be real is pretty hairy. Um, to have no brows was a bit disappointing. So, shout out to Rapid Brow and shout out to Rachel for changing my brow game. If you are Nottingham based, I highly recommend Rachel. Instagram is Hidden Beauty Nottingham. I'll link it down below. Um, she's so lovely. Every time I go, it's like catching up with a mate. She's so nice. I think we are good. Yeah. So that is my finished brow. Also, I've got a spot on my lip which has been absolute agony. I thought it was a cold sore, um, but then it like this is vile. But you know, we're all real together on this channel. Had like a little white head on, and I was like, that's not a Oh, so that's a bloody spot and it was really sore and it was really causing me a lot of stress but um it's kind of gone now just like a little mark then what i'll do is i go in with the body collection which this is i did a campaign with them on instagram um and i spoke about this product the lip conditioner last week in the vlog um but you can get these at wilkinson's as in wilco and they're literally so cheap and this is a brow gel and I'm not joking I put on my brows the other day and my brows didn't budge all day I was like what the hell so I don't use a lot of this because the refi already does keep it in place but I just ever so slightly brush over any strays 
because I do have some strays that like to run away from the group and cause a big scene. So I just like to just remind them to stay in their own lane and don't mess things up for the whole group. Right, next up we've got mascara. I'm gonna do that off camera because it's just mascara and it's pretty basic, but I use a mix of this Ciate London Wonderland mascara. Don't really know what it is. I'll link it down below. And then this L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes, which is really nice for like your bottom lashes. Although I don't really wear mascara on my bottom lashes unless I'm going out out. Um, but yeah, I'll come back once I've done lashes. Okay, mascara is on. My everyday lip combo, which is honestly, I'm not even joking. My most asked question on Instagram, oh, itchy nose, is what lip combo I'm wearing. Um, and I have shown like quite a few times, but I'm going to show you again because it's the best. And I, I like go through stages where I really like something and I wear it all the time and then I switch it up and wait, let me have my last sip of coffee before we do this. Okay, so I use the Beauty Bear lip liner and I think it's in shade. It's rubbed off, but I think it says Heather. I'll link it down below and write the shade, um, but it's like quite a dark pink to be honest. I much prefer a pinky lip to, why am I so dark? I much prefer a pinky lip to like a nude, like brownie lip. I just think it suits my skin tone better. Um, so I go all over my lip, not all over my lip, sorry, all around the outside of my lip with this. And then what I also do is just take a little line up the centre of my lip like that and a little triangle down like that seen on a tiktok apparently it makes them look bigger i think it works to be honest i quite like it so that's what i do first and then go in with morphe sweet tea do you need to sharpen mm, we'll give you one this is also my favorite lip liner ever um alex introduced me to this and i've never looked back so morphe sweet tea and I just use this in of my cupid's bow and in the centre at the bottom just to make it a little bit darker, add a bit more definition. Like so. And then, wait a second, my phone's pinging off. Okay then, this has been my favourite liquid lipstick for so long now. So this is the Note Cosmetics Matte Ever Lip Ink 8 Hour Long Lasting and Kiss Proof in the shade Peach Rose. This lasts all day. Like, I'll put this on. Do you know what? It's a very good dupe for... I used to wear it all the time. If you're an OG, you'll remember Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Lips in shade Legally Blonde. Um, and it actually got discontinued, which did seriously break my heart. Um, but this is as close as I've ever got to it. It's a really good dupe. And honestly, it lasts all day. They're not lying. It's kiss-proof. Like... It does stay all day. If I apply this at the beginning of a night out, I don't have to reapply it at all. Um, and I literally just, you can see, it's a really nice peachy, pinky tone. I put it just in the centre, like that. And then I just use my finger to dab it out and like blend it. Like so. And then what I have been doing, which is a bit of a new one for me actually, getting adventurous um is i take the blush that i used so the Ref refi rose blush um i don't want to use a finger and then i just put my finger in it a little bit and just dab that over the top and i just think it ties in the whole look and like makes your face kind of match if that makes sense um and it just lightens it a little bit So yeah, if I feel like I need to, which I do feel like I need to today, I'll go back in with the lip liner as well and just line my lips again if I feel like they've gone a bit, got a bit lost in the lip liner, in the lipstick, sorry. Yeah, that's better. So yeah, that is my everyday lip. Well, not my everyday lip because I don't wear a lip every day, but that's my everyday makeup. Look. So yeah, as you can see, it's really easy, really simple. Not too many products either. Like you don't need a massive makeup bag. I literally use like a handful of products um and yeah this is what i've been gravitating towards recently i'll link everything down below i'm going to go and do my hair um and then i'll come back and speak to you before i set off because i currently don't even know what like what's this what is even going on and if you watch my vlogs then you know what i do when i'm planning outfits i lay everything out on the floor um i've also just ordered a new makeup bag literally as i was doing my makeup there because um 
basically like it's really annoying that every time I do my makeup I want to come and sit down here and I've got to like carry everything over and that makeup bag like isn't the best for that um I just straightened my hair as well so I ordered one of them you know the flat lay like drawstring ones where you put everything in and then you just like open it and it's like a mat with all your stuff on because I don't want to stay in the carpet either um so yeah that should come tomorrow I'll show you that I'm excited I've seen quite a few people have them and they look really good so we'll open the makeup bag game anyway I always lie my outfits out on the floor um to get an idea of what they'll look like and then I'll try them on and pack them in a bag two more outfits are here but this little boy is asleep and I don't want to disturb him um, and then I'm going to pack them all in the Girl and Muse tote which I showed you last week um, this is really big and just handy for um, shooting and travelling and things so yeah I'm going to try stuff on and then pack my bag <laughs> through that so I'm gonna do a little potter tidy up before I go so I don't have to come back to a horrendous dressing room and I will speak to you when I'm on my way okay bags are in the back I'm in the car I'm off to pick Alex up now guys look at my new cap what do we all think I absolutely love it like I actually love it I'm actually preferring like more of like the um like vintagey style looking caps to like baseball caps but I haven't worn a cap, right Dion stuff saying caps, I haven't worn a hat in a while um, and I'm bringing them back. Um, I've, I'm actually working with Farfetch on Instagram, literally pinch me, like the fact that I'm working with brands like that blows my mind and not to get all deep on you all but I wouldn't be able to do that if it wasn't for you guys and I am so grateful, it means the absolute world, the support that you guys show me on here, on Instagram, um, I just had a little moment to myself as I was sat waiting to get in the car just thinking like god I really am so lucky so I just want to say thank you to you guys because without you I wouldn't have any of this um so yeah I'm absolutely sweating I need to get going and I will speak to you when I'm with Alex hello from the cap queens I'm gonna hello we are out shooting looking we just look so bright like we can never just be understated can we we're just we really are just trying to draw attention to ourselves sky. <laughs> Um, but we are on outfit three, we're powering through them and we just got one more and then it's your sushi time, Ooh. which we cannot wait for. Okay, shooting is all done and it is sushi time. Ooh. I can't wait for some socials. Right guys, I am back from shooting and lunch with Alex. It is 20 to 6. I've got a spin class at 6. Sorry, I need to get a move on. Um, but yeah, I'm on my way to spin. All ready to go. Haven't done spin in a while, so I'm actually really excited because it used to be my favourite class. Um, so I'm excited for that. Although me and Alex actually went and looked at a different gym today. Um, not that there's anything wrong with the gym that I go to now, but I just kind of want a little bit more out of the gym if that makes sense um so we'll see might end up switching gyms but for now i'm off to spin just had some pre-workout my lips are tingling a little bit um i don't usually take pre-workout unless i really need it on a morning i'll have like an espresso before i go and go to the gym because i usually go on a morning but because it's six o'clock um i haven't ate since the sushi i just thought let me give myself a little boost of energy um but yeah, I'll speak to you when I get back from Spain. Probably looking a lot sweatier and a hot mess. Usually I take my makeup off before the gym as well because I don't like training in makeup. But um, I didn't have time. So that's great. Uh, excuse me. That's not nice. Do not bite that. Guys, good morning. Just got back from getting my nails done. They look so much better like honestly fresh nails there's just nothing quite like it is there love it stop biting that cheeky boy um just came home to a big plt delivery i don't know if i'm going to do a separate haul 
because I think I've got some good stuff. I'll decide when I open it. And my new makeup bag is here. So let's open this and see what it's like. Okay, sorry for that angle. You're literally balancing on a bag, a chair, all sorts. I'm absolutely starving as well. Are you hungry, Linky? Because I am. Right. Okay. This is the brand, by the way. The Flat Lay. Cool. London. Um. Oh, do you know what? Why does this actually make me so happy and excited? The thought of, like, repacking my makeup bag. It actually gives me thrills. So it's, like, a big, um, like, flat layer thing. And then, obviously, it has this drawstring so you can scrunch it all up into, like, an actual bag. Which is just brilliant. And actually, what's really good, which I didn't even realise it had, is it's got zip compartments in there and bits for, like, your brushes. Oh, my God. Well, I'm now going to organise this absolutely atrocious mess into here. There's all my makeup in there. Looking not very organised, but it's okay because then we just go like this and pull it all in. Sorry, but that's just going to make my life ten times easier and I'm absolutely here for it. So for my lunch today, I'm having what I had for dinner last night, which is like a couscous chicken and courgette um, with like a yoghurt dressing on top. It was so nice from the HelloFresh recipes um, and there was leftovers because Jordan was out for dinner. So I'm having it for lunch and I'm very excited. Also, look at my lovely flowers. One of them's came out. Fresh flowers in the house just makes all the difference. I absolutely love it. How cute is this parcel from Colour Wow that just came through? You get a little flask, which is baby pink and sorry. I can't even cope with that. I'll be taking that on my walks. Nice little coffee in there. Then got these two drinks. One is a pineapple and coconut one and one is watermelon and mint. Very refreshing. Then got the Colour Wow hairspray, which I've never used before, but I'm sure Alex uses it. And I'm sure she said very good things about it, so I'm excited to try that. And then we've got the Pop and Lock High Gloss Finish. And can you actually see the shine in that? Wow. That is beautiful. I also got some hair stuff from Grow Gorgeous, which I've mentioned before, so I'm going to show you some new things from there as well. Okay, so here we have some Grow Gorgeous products. Um, as I mentioned, I've used these for ages now. This is not an ad, by the way. However, I am working with them over on Instagram, and my most asked question is about my hair growth, etc., etc. So I thought this was relevant to show you guys and give you some of my top tips. So I've been using these two, this shampoo and this conditioner, for months and months now. This is my third bottle of each. Um, and I always repurchase myself because I absolutely love it. Um, so this is the Intense Thickening Shampoo and the Intense Thickening Conditioner. It just, honestly, I feel like it really has thickened out my hair. Like, especially on my roots. Um, so I really like that. It smells lovely. It doesn't leave your hair feeling greasy or anything. So yeah, love that. Then this in here is the Intense Serum. Which again, oh, you can see me in there. Hi. Again, I've used this for months and months now. I haven't even finished my original bottle. Let me go get the actual bottle so you can see. So this is my bottle, which as you can see, I'm nowhere near finished. Um, but every time I wash my hair, I just put a couple of drops of this like on my hand and massage them into my roots. Um, and again, this is a hair growth serum, intense for fine thinning hair. I haven't got thinning hair, but we all want thick, lovely locks. So I really love that. And then moving on to some products that I haven't actually tried before, but I'm very excited to try. So we've got these two masks. We've got the repair one and the balance one. So this one is an overnight mask. I wear all my masks overnight anyway, but the fact that this was an actual overnight one, I was like, yeah, let's go for it. This one is to strengthen hair and scalp. I love these masks. I've got one of the Grow Gorgeous ones already. The thickening one, um, the one that's part of this range, the intense range. And I love it, so I was really excited to try two new masks. As you all know, I do a mask once a week. Um, the night before hair wash, I've got a full hair care routine. I will link it down below. And then I also got these three. So we've got a repair heat protect leave-in oil. So once you've washed your hair, put this on before you blow dry. 
Defend anti-pollution leave-in spray again put that on when you put that on um, just to protect your hair work as a bit of like as I say a defense then we've got volume modifying leave-in serum so this is to give you roots volume make it look more bouncy and luxurious so yeah I'm really excited to try the new products I'm excited to have top-ups of my favorite products um, and yeah, I'll leave these linked down below. I don't know if I have a discount code. I might have one for my work, which I'm doing with them on Instagram. So if I do, I will link it down below. I am now going to go and make myself some spag ball because I really fancy... Oh, I'll just turn the tab on. I really fancy some spaghetti bolognese. And since I fancy it, I'm going to go and make it. Yay, in the last day, literally all of these flowers have came out. How beautiful are they? I just love them. Also guys, I know earlier in this vlog I was talking about the fact that I was potentially moving gyms. I did move and wow am I loving my life to say the least. Me and Alex went to our new gym this morning for the first time. Um, Jordan's joined it as well because he obviously had a FOMO and had to join with me. Um, and yeah, I just love it. It's a really good gym and it has a pool and stuff. So today I went for a swim. I've just been living my best life. Um, so I'm very happy with the transition and the fitness lifestyle. I can feel it coming back. Not that you need to join a new gym to be motivated, but joining a new gym has made me feel a lot more motivated, I'll be honest. Um, but yeah, it's bag ball time. And then I'm actually going to end this vlog. So I'll show you my spag ball because I know you all want to see it. And then... I'll leave you until next week. Okay, so pasta is just cooking. Sorry about the angle, but I've just been thinking to myself, I obviously call spaghetti bolognese spag ball because bolognese shortened is ball, spaghetti shortened is spag. However, I have seen on Instagram people saying and calling it spag ball, as in a ball, like spag ball. And I'm baffled because as I'm aware, it's spag ball as an abbreviation of spaghetti bolognese. Yes, it might come in a ball. Please correct me if I'm wrong and please let me know if you call it spag ball, B O L, or spag ball, B O W L. Is that your small ball? Yeah, hope so. Um, yeah, that's my thought of the day. I was getting a bit confused with my pasta to cook, and then it's spag ball time. If that ain't a beautiful big ball of spag ball, then I don't know what is. Your gal is hungry and that is one big ball and I'm not ashamed of it. And that is everything from this week's vlog, guys. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you did enjoy it. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.